Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Scout with Three Guns Down. And I'm Chris. And this is Oldies But Goldies. Today we're looking at our first Oldies But Goldies episode, and we had to take a look back on a classic, and probably a game that revolutionized the first person shooting John- COD 4, motherfucker! <laughs> yes, Call of Duty 4, the first modern warfare. And every time I look back at this game, I have such fond memories of it. It was... Not not it, it, graphically, it wasn't the most amazing thing at the time. It was back then. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was still pretty amazing though. It was just like you can put attachments on weapons and blah blah and your dad and camos and I don't think it was the first game that included all that, but I think it was the first game that did it well. Um, or just because it had Call of Duty slapped on it. Might have been why it was so popular. Well, I mean, and then combined with the attachments and camos, and everyone was just like, "Oh my God, I can beat my dick to this." Well, I mean, the first Call of Duty, and then Call of Duty didn't really take off till Call of Duty 2. But Call of Duty 2, which came out, did it come out on 360 or was that Xbox? Mm, I'm not sure. Google. Um, <laughs> but uh, whatever it came out on, that, Call of Duty 2 was kind of like a bit of a miss, even though a lot of people still played it. It just really wasn't that good. And, uh, you know, then they introduced Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, which was taking, you know, we went away from the whole World War One, World War Two thing. Um, and, and it created its own original storyline and its own events and gave us really interesting, compelling characters. Although I would argue that the first Modern Warfare wasn't the most amazing or interesting Call of Duty in terms of characters, although it was still very cool. Everybody loves Captain Price. The story was the best. World of Wars was pretty good, and uh, I'll give it to Black Ops. It, it was pretty. Yeah, Black it, it Ops. Was, it was pretty nice. Black Ops story but, was really good. It was one of my other favorable in, enjoying. But this isn't about Black Ops, so yeah, let's it's more take about our attention back over here. So, you know, the 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 story mode obviously isn't the highlight of this game. It it is the multiplayer, although the story was really appreciated and had some really cool action scenes. I think one of my you remember the the sniping mission. The stealth missions. Yeah, the, the stealth missions oh are always God. awesome. Because it, it, it takes, like, the totally different spin on the game where, you know, you're always just, like, running and gunning and huge battles. You're always Rambo in it, and then all of a sudden it's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap you. Uh, be quiet. And you have to, uh, you avoid detection and sneak between cars and everything like that. And, uh, it was, and dog patrols. It, it was something about that that just, I don't know, it got me. It was like, I am a badass. Because I'm sitting there crawling through whatever I'm crawling through I don't know the uh and then there was um the uh like I think my favorite thing was where you had to uh you were on the rooftop and you shot uh at Reznov um with the Barrett 50 cal and you took off his own was it Reznov or who was it isn't Reznov in World of War yeah Reznov's in World of War <laughs> <laughs> I was like what um, who was it that you shot the arm off of using the Barrett 50 cal? Put it in the comments, please. Was it, was it, what the, was wasn't it the squeaky guy with the voice, it was whatever. You killed him at the end of the game anyway. Prize slides you the gun over and you shoot him. And then just like the nicknames to it of all the characters. Soap, Price, Roach, Ghost. I was half expecting by like, Modern Warfare 3, they'd be like, Bacon. <laughs> bacon. Apple. <laughs> Condom. <laughs> no, that'd be that would be the stealth mission, codename condom. Yeah. <laughs> Cock of booty. Something I might get a lot of hate for, but I like in COD 4 better than like MW2 and so on. The game wasn't built around kill streaks in MW2, or it was in MW2. It wasn't in COD 4. They complimented the game in COD 4, but they didn't make the game. Right? I think that's what made it so great, is that you still relied pretty heavily on your natural skills, and I still think COD 4 is my favorite Call of Duty ever of all time. It, you know, it might have possibly been just because I played that so much more than any other Call of Duty, and I was so good at it compared to any other Call of Duty. I mean, shit, we went back and bought it on Steam. Oh, yeah, and, we, and, and we're we still... Right now. Yeah, well, we not still right now, play. right now, but... Yeah, well, That's I mean, this this will be there'll be footage of this flipping through of you know whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, honestly, I like it a lot more on PC than I do on um, anything else. I don't know if it's the 32 person shipment, but <laughs> <laughs> that has something That's to do fun, with though. it. 
the fact that I can stand in a corner with an LMG and get a 10 kill streak in like two seconds. You're bad, kid. <laughs> I'm a camper. Um, yeah, I just it, it, it's so much more fun on PC. And yesterday I got into a lo uh, modded lobby, which was actually really cool because it was mixing in more attachments and more camos and different guns from other Call of Duties into COD 4 in this modded lobby. That's sick. Yeah, um, it took me like five minutes to download because it was almost uh, 200 megabytes or whatever. And uh, it was over the Punk Buster server. But, and it was really difficult because after it modded it, it wouldn't let me in into any other game until I went back and cleared my cache and cleared the mod. But it was still such a fun lobby to play in. I'll have to go find it on my... I don't know if I put it on my favorites or not, but I'm definitely have to find it again. It was a lot of fun. Um, because it added, it was like, you know, Call of Duty, but it added all these twists. I don't know, I think one of the reasons that I like Call of Duty 4 so much is because when it came out, that was when I had first started actually playing, like, online games. Yeah, right? So and it was that one was, of the first ones for me. That was your, 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 your... I'm only 17. That, that was, it was the same thing for me. I mean, I'm three years old, four, three, three, four years old. Did you just say you're three years old? I'm three years older than you. Um, oh, okay, that works too. Yeah, it, but it was one of the first multiplayer games that I started playing when it came out too, and uh, it was just amazing to me. I, I don't, I couldn't really put my finger on it. What was so amazing about it then? But I think part of it was that all my friends were playing it, and I was playing it with them. And everything's always funner when you're playing it with friends. It just had that thing about it. It touched your G spot. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> boys have that too. I do. I found it. It's under my... Never mind. Let's go on. <laughs> um, and then it was the guns. Like, to this day, I still love an MP5 silenced. Like, that gun just tickles my fancy. MP5 red dot. Uh, I had it red tigered, and I, I liked... Oh, the P90, too. Oh, the P90. I still like the MP5 more, but the P90 was a lot of fun, too. There was only, like, one thing I honestly disliked about COD 4, and that was the perk system. But it wasn't the perk system altogether. It was one perk in particular, and it was stop Juggernaut. power. No, Juggernaut I was okay with because, you know, again, it was taking away one perk. See, I was kind of the opposite of that. I didn't like Juggernaut, but I was okay with stopping power because it felt like it kind of balanced it out to me well and see the other thing with stopping power was that if you weren't using stopping power and pretty much everybody else was your gun felt like weak sauce <coughs> you know because uh, unless you're behind them yeah right then it was you know unless they're 360 why why no scope Jesus. which half the time well more than half the time the person who shoots first in call of duty is going to win anyway yeah unless you're dealing with like some severe ping rate or whatever or someone who has one arm <laughs> what no offense, I'm sorry, I love you guys. There's a kid, I was actually watching, there's a kid that plays League of Legends with his toes, and he's really good at it. What the fuck? Logan told me about this, he has no arms, and he plays... There's a kid at school who plays fighting games with one arm. He's a beast, too, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> he uses his elbow for the analog stick. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, you know, it was, uh, the, I think the other thing that I really, what made me, like, lose kind of taste with Call of Duty... Uh, Modern Warfare 2 and 3 and Black Ops as it went on was a lot of bullshit was introduced like no scoping or quick scoping and uh, that was kind of revolution I was in COD 4 though it, w it really didn't start to like show up until Modern Warfare 2 a lot more heavily I mean yeah it was in COD 4 I will agree with it and there were some pretty good people Zergris son Zergris yeah right but it, it really that didn't shit. It really didn't start to show up really heavily until Call of Duty 2, when everyone started to try doing it. Yeah, yeah. Snapping clans, oh. Uh, and, I um, hate them. I do too. And, uh, I, yeah, I still, I still like Modern Warfare 2, and I, I was, we were actually thinking about getting that on Steam 2 recently. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, we need to go do that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, uh, mm. I'll tell you the other thing I also loved about it was the maps. The maps were just so much fun. Uh, shipment was so much fun. What was your favorite fun. map? Oh, just, just, it's, just drop that right now. What was your favorite map? Oh, <laughs> it's it might be Wetworks. 
Yeah, God, that was the only one I didn't like. Really? I loved Wet Work so much, and I think I loved it because I like Major League gaming or balanced maps more because it's easier to play. I just like balanced maps more when it comes to competitive shooters because it feels more balanced to me, right? I mean, when I played COD 4, the biggest thing I was worrying about was getting a kill. Yeah, you were that always... was the, like one of the first games I ever played online. Yeah, you were always worried about... I didn't about care you. about competitive bullshit. Um, I got no really offense. competitive into... Well, uh, a friend of mine for a while did uh, some... Uh, we did some game battles in it, and we actually got pretty decently far. Um, and this was within like the first two years the game had been out. Uh, it was actually less than that because, what, it was like another year and a half well it was another year and then world at war was out and then a year after that modern warfare 2 i can't believe how much i played that game in that single year because you know as soon as uh, as much as i was in love with modern warfare as soon as world at war came out we instantly got it and modern war or uh, world at war was a lot of fun too uh i want to say wah but then that just sounds weird that sounds like wow wah anytime i look at the abbreviation for World at War. I just think of WoW for I some reason, and I've never even played WoW. I can't stand WoW anymore. I played six years of that game, and I just... They were like, pandas, and I was like, no. But anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... You know, it, w it was such a fun and revolutionary game. The One thing I always loved doing, you know, I, was a, I wasn't a, a quick scoper or a no scoper or anything by that means, but I loved sniping so much in that game. Because it fell so much better than any other game did, uh, other than the Unreal Tournament. I thought Unreal Tournament sniping was really felt really good, but uh, Unreal s or uh, Modern Warfare's um, sniping felt really good as well. I loved putting uh, what was it, Deep Impact, yeah, and stopping power. Uh, real quick, real quick. The people who say, or the, rather, the people who get mad when someone hard scopes. Shut up. Mm. <laughs> it's a sniper rifle, damn it. Yeah, it's what it was meant for. And people are like, oh, you're a, you're a hard scoping faggot. And I was like, oh, my bad. I was using the gun with the purpose it was intended for. I'm I just such like, a jackass. I just pictured a marine sniper just like 360 wild line. <laughs> I want videos of marines trying that now. <laughs> they probably made them before to just make fun of... Kids. I don't know. Look at us! I just shot that cool. Afghani two, two, two miles across the map. <laughs> That's racist. Oops. My bad. If you're Afghanis, <laughs> Afghan and okay, I'm and done. You're, and you're I'm watching done. this. I don't know I this am idiot. Sorry. <laughs> if you're Afghanis, um, you know what else is really cool is like when you go back and you look at the differences between all the weapons. Like if you take one of the the regular pistols, uh, the, the the 45 or the 9 mil uh, M9, uh, or you know any of the other pistols, and they compare... actually felt effective in COD 4. Oh, I know, like even the M9, even though it took like four bullets, especially with you, your damn trigger finger, it would be like four bullets takes like 0.25 seconds. <laughs> if you haven't seen his trigger finger, we got to get some footage of it. There's no mod blocker on. Uh, Call of Duty 4, you should just see him run around with uh, a single shot weapon. It's crazy. He can empty a clip faster than some of the fastest fire rate guns like the, the P90 or the... Motherfucker, oh. I got mod blocked on World of War and I don't even own a mod. <laughs> he has. He's got mod blocked. In I'm going gonna, gonna to try and get footage of that. And he's got mod blocked even on um, uh, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops and Black Ops 2. Bullshit. I've only been mod blocked like twice, and that was when I was like making my fingers spaz out. I don't know how he does it. He must masturbate a lot or something, but with my fingers, yeah, <laughs> just the finger. That's 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 how the size of your manhood. Okay. <laughs> uh, and now the whole internet knows. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> what were some of your favorite guns from Call of Duty 4? I never used LMGs, so none of those. I didn't either. I never took... Oh, actually, I take that back. I did like the RPD, and that was like the only one I liked. I never I never really used that either. Uh, MP5. Obviously. AK-47. That's a good 74U. Yeah. Uh, P90, duh. <laughs> I really like the M21. 
I know that's the, uh, like, sniper rifle. Yeah, I, I know that's not like a. Cool, I don't know. Maybe it is a crowd favorite. You don't really see too many people running around with it though. It's usually the M40. Yeah, the M40, which is the assault rifle version. Or the R700, anything except for the M21, because ah. someone there's going to be that guy out there who's just like, it doesn't require skill to use because you can just spam the trigger. Well, it's like a, a two or three shot body shot kill, but it's I a one shot headshot I think. Yeah, it is one shot. Every sniper rifle is a one shot headshot, but it was a oh, hope. shot. Something's wrong with it. It's not. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not effective, but. You know, it, I loved it. I thought it took a little bit more skill, even though it was very, very accurate. Sometimes I felt like it took more skill because of uh, how it how it worked. You know, you had to track them as they're running. And it's, you know, it's hard to hit a very fast-moving target headshot. So, of course, you're going to aim for the body instead of the head. And it was hard to track a moving target and get two body shots or three body shots even, which is why I think it took, it, took more skill sometimes. Well, I mean, I have the most skill... With a sniper rifle ever, I always aim for the toe. <laughs> yes, Chris's Chris's skill is unparalleled. Face fake, he ain't got nothing on this bitch. Fuck you guys! Come on, one v one me, face. Oh dear Jesus! Someone uploaded a video of them, like an MW2 trash talking heavily. I'm gonna put that in the description so people can go look that up. That's why I have no respect for face. Ah, I didn't really care about quick scoping plans because it's like that was that that's just the one that everyone knows. Yeah, well, and I mean that's also like that's not the point of the game. Like you know, you can talk all the trash or shit that you want, but go play an MLG team and you'll walk out crying. You know, I'm not saying I'm an MLG player or whatever, but if you did play one of those teams, they wouldn't stand shit in hell, and that's part of the reason why you've never seen them at an MLG event. What? They wouldn't stand shit in hell. What? They wouldn't stand shit in hell. That's a yes. All right. Don't question. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what were some of your favorite maps? Because I know I said Wetworks, but uh, there were a few more that I Overgrown was one bog. I absolutely Over loved. Overgrown and Bog. Oh, uh, Overgrown was just amazing. I'm actually gonna pull up a list of the maps because I can't remember. Yeah, it's then we still uh, play on them, but just maps. like you know, can't remember shit. Um. And Wikipedia. All right. Backlot was really, really good. Oh, uh, was that the one that had the mounted uh, MGs? Yeah, I think so. Um, and then yeah, Countdown was the missile silo one. Oh, that one was fun. Oh, I, I love that one. I love the fog. Ambush. Ambush. I love that one. They were all good. The, yeah, Except there were a lot of really good ones. I, you know, Chinatown I really didn't like at first, but after a while I got used to it. And uh, yeah, Chinatown grows on you. It really does. Uh, from the DLC. Vacant. Vacant. Search and destroy. That was some intense shit. Oh, oh vacant. It was. Oh, 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 oh. Um. What else? Huh. There? They have Winter Crash on uh, the COD4Central.com, like where they have all the maps. Winter Crash, you know, uh, where it's Crash on the PC, just remodeled with Santa and bullshit like that. That's cool. That's uh, like, actually. I I'll tell you another one I really like. District. I was actually looking at that when you oh, said that. Oh, I love so District quit. so much. <laughs> because it was just, like, it took the modern setting, right? And then it took it completely to... A large ball. but compacted map break for stealth classes and generally quick run and gun strategies. Run and gun strategies. Yeah. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. It was amazing. Oh, what was the one that had the, uh... The big main street, and then it had the uphill part with, like, the diner room up top, and then it had, like... The back part of the building that had the top blown out that snipers would always sit in. Uh. Uh, and it was it was like. Oh, crossfire. Ah, yes, crossfire. God, I loved crossfire so much. I didn't like it because in domination you literally stood no chance if you got capped on A or C. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was A. Well, it, the thing I loved you, about crossfire. If you got spawn trapped, there was virtually no getting out because there's very few spawns there. The thing I loved about Crossfire was the dynamics to it, how, like, there was always people looking down that main road, so it was so hard to move from one side or to the other, or even down that way, because you had to go through all the buildings, and there's almost guaranteed to be people in the buildings, so you gotta work your way through all those, make sure nobody's behind you, and as you're moving down towards that, there's still probably a sniper or somebody sitting there somewhere that's gonna see you start chucking nades at you, and so it was such a challenge just to move from one side to the other, and it became a big 
Crossfire. Oh God. <laughs> I see what you did there. I liked uh, I liked block a lot. That's where I got most of my sniper oh, kills block. because everyone was just having a back and forth sniper war in each of the buildings. And there then there'd be the rushers who would just rushers. Okay, rushers. <clears throat> Excuse me. They would just go under the building. Well, not under the building, but you know, like the bottom part of the building, go up the stairs and just come wipe out all the snipers. Ah, I thought that was fun. I loved block on search and destroy. There was always that couch I would hide behind. You know which one I'm talking about? It was on the east side of the the apartments in the understory oh. section. I, I didn't know there were cardinal directions. Uh, well, okay, yeah, well, yeah, because there's northeast, south. There's a compass in the game, Chris. What the fuck? You never knew this, did you? I never paid attention. Okay, that's how I do call. That's how I did callouts. Use the compass. Callouts, oh, Call of Duty. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got serious, BB. But um. So there was always a route I ran on Search and Destroy. Uh, I would run at the very bottom under the East Apartments, up the stairs, and I would hide behind this couch, and I'd put C4 in that hallway, which they always came up. And I can't remember how many multi-kills, because I'd get creative with the C4, you know? I wouldn't just, like, put it on the floor. I'd, like, put it on the ceiling and the sides of the walls and behind objects and shit. I'm pretty sure everybody did that, so you know, they couldn't see it, right? And so they had no idea it's there, and then it goes click, and you kill, like, three people. You're just like, <laughs> Um, yeah, nobody cares. Uh, let's see. What, what what do we want to talk about now? Oh, uh, mm, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe huh. we're done. We've covered guns, maps, nostalgia trip. Yeah, big nostalgia that, that's, trips. That's basically what this whole video has been. Yeah, this this entire game is nothing but nostalgia trips. That's that's what a lot of uh old that's what what a lot oldies of these is going to be. The nostalgia trips for us. Um, Maybe not so much for me because I uh, doubt I've played as many games as Scott has because he has no one. What? I do have a lot. Hey. Silent Hill is now playing Battlefield Bad Company. Too. I, That's one. That's I one. Actually, uh, yeah, Bad Company was really good. Did you actually know that in Bog, um, the callouts were of the area, the buildings on the side were restaurants? Yeah. KFC, McDonald's, and Pizza Wait, Hut. Wait, what? What? Yeah, so Bog, in, in Bog, if you go look up the callouts for it, the, the buildings, they're KFC, McDonald's, Oh, I thought Pizza you meant Hut. they were actually... <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, no, they were named for that because somebody said that, they, that there's, like, indications that one's a chicken joint, and one's a pizza joint, and one's uh, a fat kid joint. Um, and then there's, that ju there's just that random bus out in the middle of the map. Right, what's a bus doing in the middle of a field with palm trees? And there's no obvious road. It's dusty, but it's not obvious. It's like... Who would take a, you know, on a, I don't understand. Oh, I think that's about it, though. We really... Ambush, backlot, block, bog, countdown, crash, crossfire, district, downpour. 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 Oh. Overgrown. Pipeline. Pipeline was fun. Pipeline was always amazing. People like Search and Destroy for, on Pipeline a lot. Shipment, showdown, strike, vacant, wet work. And then the DLCs were Broadcast, Chinatown, Creek, and Kill House. Creek, Creek was huge. Oh, Creek was so much fun, though. You know what? I actually played a free-for-all game on Creek, and I've done this like four or five times. But uh, this, this was back when I was playing on console. I played uh, a free-for-all game on Creek where I went 30-0. and 0. I felt like such a badass. And of you, uh, you trying to promote your stuff there? I am, I am, I am a well, bad, actually. You think you're good? No, you, uh, I, I suck. You, you, uh, like if you, you, skill? you, you know, uh, you've probably, you, you probably been watching. You need to get known, Shut the fuck up, Chris. <laughs> Don't you go here. suck a dick like you usually do, faggot. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't suck mine because it's one inch, yeah. Anyway, and you, you remember everyone, you, you, you told everyone already, you know, yeah. Your, fingers, your, your fleshlight is the size of a mouse. I use scissors. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's just about about it for this oldies but goldies. Again, our recommendation, Call of Duty 4. You probably didn't miss it, but it's definitely one you need to grab. Uh, it, it's a great nostalgia trip for us, and there's going to be even more nostalgia trips. I think the next oldies but goldies, we're going to do a Star Wars special episode because Steam had a giant sale on Star Wars games. Uh, so that's pretty much it from us, guys. I'm Scout. I'm Chris. And, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we should just create a phrase we start saying together. How's that? I, I pointed. I pointed at my TV. I was like, I pointed to crash on the internet, and I was like, I'll catch you later. 
Anyway, we'll see you guys around. Take it easy, guys.